Today's message is for all those youngsters out there that have lost a father, don't know their father, never met their father, or simply saw him jet. My message to you today is you got to hold on. You got to fight for your right to find happiness. Your family needs for you to step up. The empty chair will not always be empty. Your father can't be replaced, but the empty chair can. You must fill the chair with your body and his air. You must breathe for him and you must breathe for your family. You must hold the hands of his granddaughters and his grandsons. You must also hold your mom's hand. You have the responsibility to move on and to close the emptiness that others may feel. As you close the emptiness of others, you will then become full. You have the responsibility to share more and to care more. Moving on doesn't mean that you're over his loss. It simply means that you're moving forward and taking his loss with you because it strengthens you. Young fellow, you have to fill the chair with pride and love. Either the pride he left, either the pride and love he left you with, or the pride and love that you had to find and discover on your own. Your father's loss, your father's loss or his sacrifice, no matter if it was due to negligence or if it was due to a courageous battle. You must mark your sacrifice to be more uh, to be greater than his. Because that's that is the way life is. Each generation improves the next generation. You learn more from losing and overcoming tragedy than you'll ever learn from winning. You become stronger after you overcome after you've overcome some tragedies in your life. Your father's loss, past, or his precious past has paved the path for your greatness. The chair is no longer empty. Although it's, although it's full of lost memories and regrets and sacrifices, the chair is also full of your future hopes and your future dreams. Don't give it away. You must now grab a hold of the lonely hands that's missing him. You must demonstrate love to the ones that he loved or the ones that he should have loved. You must be responsible, you must care, you must share, you must share his loss, but also you must share your find. You, you found his spirit and you found your spirit also. It's a part of you. You must sit in the chairs starting today. Man up, young fellow. The chair is no longer empty if you got his back. Say this, say it. Things were not perfect, but I must have your back. I must have your back, I must have my family's back, and I must have my own back. As I sit in the chair today, Dad, remember, although I'm sitting in the chair, I will always remember, please always remember that I'm standing up for what you started. No excuses, even if your present was not what it needed to be, I must build for a better generation. Now, young fella, sit up straight and pull your pants up and shut up and get busy. And remember, sometimes the strongest men can only bench press a few pounds. The measure of a man or a husband is not in his physical strength. Simply look at his words, deeds, and then notice the emotional weight lifted off of his wife, his children, and his family.